Do you believe that there's a difference between a midwife and a hospital birth? Hey, hey, mom, is it your Cajun Stork here, midwife Kyra? As you know, I believe in truly natural birth because I know it makes for better birth experiences. You'll want to consider subscribing to my channel because I know you're going to believe in it too. In today's video, Jonas, one of the dads from my birth house, is going to be sharing his perspective of his amazing birth center birth after experiencing two previous hospital births. So the first question I asked Jonas was, what were your first thoughts about choosing a birth center? Well, the, the idea of the birth house at first was sort of a no-brainer, no way. <laughs> we're, we're, we can't do that. No, 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 that's, that's too different, too unfamiliar. It's too out there for too, us. Yeah, and she started talking about it a little bit more, and I said, okay, well, let's ask all the questions we want to ask. Let's find out as much information as we can. And all the answers we got made more sense than I ever thought they would. Mm -hmm. And it finally just seemed like a no-brainer, like this is this makes sense. Yeah. So that's that's kind of how we uh, evolved with that decision. <laughs> Over 36 weeks. Yeah, one of the most disappointing things is that our doctor was very understanding of wanting to have a natural birth, and he was very mm -hmm. supportive of that. But he has his own practice, and he's really there for... <laughs> the birth and not much leading up to it other than to pop in and, and check on you. Mm -hmm. And so you have a team of nurses that are kind of herding you to the bed and putting you where they want you to go and saying, no, you know, they kind of giggle like, oh no, <laughs> you have to be on your back. Like this is how we, this is how we do things. So even when your doctor says, oh look, let's, you know, you can, you can try to do it the way you want to. It's, it's hard to kind of override their, their protocol because they're used yeah. to mothers who are saying, all right, give me the epidural and then just tell me what to do and let's get this over with. And so it's it's not that natural birth your way that, that you, you're you kind of promised that you could have. Yeah. It was difficult because it, you sort of feel like you can't do much to help her because mm -hmm. of course it's already painful enough and there's not much I can do to alleviate that other than to be right there for her, but it's, you know, it's hard to put yourself against the nurses and say, no, 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 we're going to do it. We're going to do it this way because you don't want to make things uncomfortable and seem pushy or non-compliant. So you kind of just, all right, well, let's make the best out of this yeah. and, and, you know, do what we can. So you kind of feel like you can't do much to help out. What would you say to other dads who were on the fence about switching to a midwife? Yeah, I, I'll say that even maybe up until that morning, there was this part of me that was still a little skeptical because of the the unfamiliar part of it. And mm -hmm. also, you have family members who are saying, oh, well, what? What, there's no you're no hospital. What are you What are you doing? No doctors. No, doc some back right. alley thing. Um, like, <laughs> and I think from the minute we got here, and she was, <clears throat> you know, on the bed, having contractions, and it, it just it just made more sense. And and immediately, I was thinking, okay, well this this is how we should do this from now on because we want more kids. Mm -hmm. And if we had had more hospital, another hospital birth, I don't know if we'd be having more kids no um but another thing that made sense to me was uh something kyra said in one of the meetings before whenever we were looking at some of the paperwork and she said um you know birth is a natural event that sometimes needs medical intervention or extensive you know medical care but we've sort of turned it into a medical event that sometimes people do naturally and so it kind of made sense to me from that point. It was like, you know, this is a natural thing that your body was made to do and is prepared to do. And being in a hospital just makes sense for a lot of people because it's all that we, it's all that we know. We've been so it's a little unfamiliar, but once you experience something like this, it's, it makes sense. And you, <laughs> yeah. you wonder why you didn't choose something like this sooner. How do more people not know? Like, 
it just seems like the easy choice. What words did you come up with first when you were considering alternative birth options? Did today's words sound at all kind of familiar to you? Were you able to get past the unfamiliar and be brave enough to make the switch? So Jonas's perspective was absolutely amazing. You're gonna wanna watch right here so you can see Janelle's perspective in next week's Midwife Monday video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.